You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Hey, welcome to episode 81 of the Soul Forge Podcast. Woo! Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Welcome to the Soul Forge Podcast. Hope you like that introduction. I hope so. Who are you? I'm Tracy. And you? It's Jay. And who am I? Sean. Sean. The ever-present host of the Soul Forge Podcast. Mm-hmm. And what are we doing today? Recording a podcast. Indeed we are. <laughs> and it almost... Are you drunk? No. Are you, Not it, unless I you're... slipped it in her coffee. Nope. I knew it. Yeah, maybe you did. I don't know. No. no. Okay. So here we are. <laughs> On Thursday, yep. December 27th, 2018, yep. mm-hmm. the day this episode was supposed to come out, I almost didn't do an episode. That's why we're recording late. Right. Because... Because it was Christmas. It's Christmas. Yeah. The break, the, break, the week of mm-hmm. Christmas holidays, and I was like, you and know a what? lot of stuff has happened. A lot of stuff has happened. It was busy. I was going to take the whole week off and not do a podcast, but I like, you know what? I'm dedicated to my Soul Forgers. They need an episode, so what am I going to do on such short notice? Right. And I thought to myself... Your end review! Yay! So here it is. And you can count on us. Like yes. We, we're both here. You're both here. Hi, Sean. On, I'm right here. Hi, Jay. see me? And I'm Tracy. I'm here, too. You've both been on previous episodes of Ooh. the podcast, yeah. which is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we, we thought, uh, your end review, what the heck? What are we going to do? Like a highlight episode? Maybe take a minute and a half from each episode and just put in little snippets. And I'm like... I don't think so, Tim. That sounds like a lot that of editing. That sounds like a lot of edit- editing, a lot of work. And if you want to hear all that crap, you can just listen to all the old episodes <laughs> anyway. So it's all right there. <laughs> yeah. And then I thought we could get Jay's opinion of the podcast because he listened to every single episode in reverse order this year. Yep. And learned... Except for the last few. I can, like I said, I've been saving up. Well, we'll talk about why you've been saving up in a moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you learned a lot about me this year. More than you probably want me to know. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> but I guess if I didn't want people to know about it, I wouldn't have put it out True enough. in podcast form. Yeah. Yes. So here it is. So this is episode review time, talking about what happened to our lives in the last year. Yeah. Uh, maybe highlighting some significant episodes of mm-hmm. the show from the past year as well. I don't know why I'm talking like a robot, but here it is. It makes things exciting. Beep, beep, no? beep, boop, beep. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I don't know what's going on. What's th- in that coffee? I think we're all the <laughs> want some. The fumes are getting to me. I don't know what it is here. Okay. But, right. anyway. I suggest we go backwards. What do you mean? We, 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 do, we do the uh, review backwards. But oh, the episodes? Yeah, we sure. could. I'm just, I'm just bucking. Yeah, that's that's. A that's lot just because how I roll. Yeah, yeah, you're a backwards kind of guy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a back asswards kind of dude. <laughs> yes, yes, you are, and that's okay. That's okay. So I, I just wrote down about fifteen or twenty different uh, episodes from mm-hmm. the past year that I thought we should highlight that were kind of significant. Yeah. There's lots more, and they're all significant, but. Uh, and if the listeners haven't listened to them, they should do that right now. Yes, we'll pause. Yes. And wait for you. Okay. And you can come back. Right. Finish this episode. Mm-hmm. So that you have all the information for all the review. Right. Yes. All right. All Go. right. So, uh, we... we <laughs> Go time. <laughs> that's right. So, started the uh, the year uh, beginning of January, because that's when the year starts. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was episode 30. Yeah. And that was... Uh, well, the beginning of the year is always hard for me. You know? Yes. The, the loss of my kid and all that stuff. Right. So, that was episode 30. Not a fun way to start the year. Uh, but episode 31 was a significant one. Oh. That's the one where I talked about my obsession with Stephanie from university. Oh, oh yes. yes. The first time I had sex. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and how awesome and fun that was. <laughs> so. Okay. I, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I can't keep a straight face. Oh no! What? What? Why? What are you thinking? The only thing that when you bring up the Stephanie episode is lesbian. Well, she was a lesbian. Yes. I, I just. I'm sorry. I'm a guy. It's just the way my mind goes. Yeah, that's why it's significant because my first time was with her. So yeah. I'm doing that. High five, bro. High five. Yeah. So, so, so that was good. And uh, Stephanie still wants to be on the podcast, but she's been living a busy life and mm. traveling between North Bay and other places. So, It'll but she still wants to be here. She wants to be on an episode. We're gonna have a visit one of these days and do nice. recording. So cool. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Uh, then we recorded a bunch more episodes, and then on episode 36, mm-hmm. sat down for a Skype interview with my brother Robin, and we reminisced about our childhood. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about uh, drugs, booze, and strippers. Yeah. And nice. mostly uh, his dad, my stepfather. Mm-hmm. And Cannon. Cannon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the one yeah. biker. Yeah. And all the trauma that ensued because of him. Right. So that was a fun episode. A lot yeah. of downloads, actually, because I called it uh, Drugs, Booze, and Strippers, so people wanted to know what that was all about. <laughs> it was a good episode, though. It, it was a good episode. Yeah. It was a good talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Maybe so much not the booze and the, and the drugs part that they were more interested in the strippers. <laughs> Guaranteed. Well, unfortunately, through podcasts, you can't really see, right? So you didn't get to see any strippers. You just... Do you realize that we're guys and our imaginations run wild? It's true, they do. <laughs> all right. Anything that has strippers in it, visual or not... We're down. And okay. because all episodes of the Soul Forge podcast go to my YouTube channel, mm-hmm. which you can find by searching my name, okay. Sean Vanderloo. Hey, this is Dr. Trek, Larry Nemechek, and you're listening to Soul Forge with Sean Vanderloo. Mm. All the videos are there. It's just the background image of whatever the episode art is, <laughs> so there's no actual strippers. But if people are playing on the computer and they want to listen to episodes of the podcast, right. they can open up another window, search my name on YouTube. And okay. listen. I really want to know how many how many listeners right now are going in to search it on YouTube to see if there's actually like art strippers. Strippers. I would say zero. Yeah, but still, <laughs> I have twenty six subscribers, and that's not a lot to my YouTube channel. So and listeners. why not, guys? Share the podcast. Get it out there. That's right. Let's share the links. This. Join the Facebook group page. Subscribe to YouTube. Subscribe on iTunes. Leave a review. All, All that, that good stuff. Yeah. 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 So that uh, episode of... Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> episode, after episode 36, uh, I did a Skype interview with Daniel Peter Hitch. He's yeah. the... Uh, Author of... Bubbles the Pirate book series and other things. Hello, I'm Daniel Peter Hitch, author of the Bubbles the Pirate children's book series and the Connected Worlds Chronicles. You're listening to the Soul Forge podcast. Keep forging your soul. And he's my uh, British buddy, one of them. And one of these days, I'm going to go over there and meet all those guys. You keep saying that. Well, one of these days. One of these days. Yeah. I don't do well with international flights, which we'll talk about later. Oh, yes. (laughs) Uh, Episode 39 was my quarter-life crisis, Lynn's story. Oh. And and as you know, uh, in the introduction that uh, my good buddy German did for me, you know, the Mm -hmm. whole theme song, uh, we talk about... uh, how it's a place of quiet contemplation and outright mayhem. Well, right. that caused outright mayhem because I talked about Lynn and uh-huh. my, how that was significant Ruffled to my life. Ruffled a few feathers. Ruffled a few feathers, and she listened to the episode. People told her about it, and uh, she messaged me and was not happy about it. And still yet, I have an opening for her to come on the Soul Forge and mm-hmm. explain her side of the story, yeah. which she hasn't done yet. Well, she can do that. At any time. Yeah. She can just email the show, soulforgepodcast, at gmail.com, right. and book herself in. For sure. Yeah. And she doesn't live far from here, so we could get together for coffee. The listeners would like that. I think so. Yeah. yeah. But that episode actually taught me that when you say things on a podcast, you don't often know what you're saying, <laughs> or how it can be taken by other people. Because right. then after she was all upset, I listened back to that show. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I could see how this could be upsetting, because some of the things I said... Mm-hmm. So, of course, episode 40 was the follow-up. But that being said, when you're talking, how other perceive what you're saying, that's their issue, not necessarily yours. You're just saying your view and your experience. And my, my memories right. and how I've interpreted over the decade. Yeah. Thank whatever. you for bringing that up because that, that, was, that was the first thing on my mind was, mm-hmm. that, that's your opinion, those are your views. That's right. And no one should take that away from you. No, this is, this is my podcast. It is. It's our podcast. But feel free <laughs> to come on and explain yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Because everybody sees the story differently. Yeah, and I'm I'm sure that she has an interesting side to the story as well. And I would love to get it 
I was yeah. going to say on film or on tape, <laughs> but uh, on digital recording. We're changing the format, yeah. are we? Yeah, why not? We'll do it. Let's a, go we'll, back to the Stone Age. Why not? <laughs> then we could we could film that interview. We could put it on YouTube. It would be explosive. It would be a lot of fun. Imagine. Uh, Let's strippers. do it, Lynn. Please email. Yeah. You must be okay with strippers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to go there. That's all good. It's all good. Uh, episode 44, uh-huh. Wit's story of virginity. <gasps> yes. Oh, yeah. The 28-year-old virgin. The 28-year-old virgin. And, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and then, of course, we did have the uh, the follow-up episode with him as well. Right. Episode 61, Wit has sex. Yeah. Well, Woo-hoo. we haven't had a, follow-up, a follow-up, follow-up, follow-up episode mm-hmm. with Wit because I haven't So what's going on now, Sean, with Wit? Well, not only did he have... Uh, no sex at the beginning of the year, and then he had sex with Jody. Right. And then they got pregnant and engaged. Wow. Whoa. So that is a lot of. He's news. he's lived an entire life in a, in a in inside of six a year. months or in, six <laughs> months. Well, I think the first conversation where he hadn't had sex was in April. Okay. And a couple oh, months later, what, however many episodes between forty four and sixty one. <laughs> so. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> Tracy has to walk away. <laughs> I took a sip of my coffee. Yes, you did. And almost spit it on Sean. I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> Which I would have loved to get on video for the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, but we're not filming. Damn! But, but yeah, so next time I see Wit, which will probably be around Easter time when I go back to the Sioux, mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to get some uh, follow-up yeah. chatter with him. Because mm-hmm. he's lived quite a... Yeah. Bit of life and experience in the Wait, last little revisited. Life. There you go. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Episode 46 was Tracy's debut on the Yay. podcast. Yay! Because I'd been doing it for my, by myself for quite a bit with mm-hmm. some interviews here and there. And uh, I said, you know what? I, I need somebody who can be a semi-regular host. Mm-hmm. And there you were, episode 46. There I was. Magically appeared. Yes. Yeah. And then episode 50 was the big 50, and I was like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But 25 was minimalism, so I thought, here's an idea. Let's do minimalism revisited. Right. Because everybody wants to be minimalist. Let's minimalized. maximalize minimalism. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, That's good. One. Episode 51 was your second episode. Okay. I had just yes. got a divorce. Yeah. And so we had to talk about that. Yeah. Yes. We talked about your divorce, my divorce, and processing. Uh, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And then had a bunch of other little uh, shows in between. Episode 58 was one of the most downloaded episodes called Soulmates and Intimacy. Mm. And I talked about what those things mean. Yeah. Uh, episode 60 was the one year anniversary special. Yeah. I can't remember what I talked about me then. Me either. <laughs> or if anybody else was on it with me. Or... No. I think you did it by yourself. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, was it, that was a lonely Sean, was it? Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> of course. Epi- Anniversary, just got a divorce, lonely Sean episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throwing it out there. Yeah. That was episode 60. Uh, 61, of course, was the Wit Has Sex episode. Uh, did a bunch more episodes, and episode 68 was Jason's debut. <laughs> it, was, it was the Bridget episode, and it was episode 68 because during episode 51... I said, I'm going to talk about Bridget one day mm-hmm. in a future episode. You said, how about episode 68? And I'm like, okay. So it was so episode 68. Because you always listen to me. Always. Every <laughs> single time. Because you have my best interests at heart. And you keep me out of trouble. Secretly, he's not in charge of this podcast anymore. Tracy is. <laughs> She's been directing from the sidelines. Shh, don't tell everybody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that was that was your debut. Yes. And uh, it has also gotten quite a few downloads. Really? Yes. People like me. People You like, like me. Or they wanted to know about this Bridget person. Oh, that's true too. Yeah. <laughs> so, whatever. Sorry, I was taking a long light there. I was, I was trying could, to make it, my it, ego it, up a little it, bit. It could, it could be you. It could be you. I doubt it. Uh, other significant okay. things that happened before I get into more episodes was, of course, we joined the ESO Network. Mm-hmm. So, yes. I think you Which should play great. a promo for one right here. That's a great idea. This week on Myopia Defend Your Childhood... My Opie Defender Childhood is so named because I believe we are short-sighted on the things we watched as kids. So every week we watch a movie that one of the panelists grew up watching and see if they hold up from comedy to cartoons or to action. And for this season, the last Thursday of each month, we're doing a TV show in our Myopia Morning segments. We watch Saturday morning cartoons and afternoon classics. So find us on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. How will you stand when we put your past on trial? Myopia Defender Childhood is a member of the ESO Network and produced by Dude Letter Podcasting.
And that was a fantastic promo for whatever I just played. Uh, so, what else happened? Uh, Soulforge got on Spotify. Hey, podcast fans, Spotify is making it easy for you to stream this podcast and many others like it on your mobile device, desktop app, and smart speaker. Open the app on your mobile device or desktop, click on the browser channel, then click on the podcast section. You'll be able to stay thoroughly entertained during your commute to work, your drive home, and your downtime, thanks to Spotify. As well as tune nice. in. Nice. So you can listen to it on all the different platforms. Mm -hmm. and Spotify, you say? Spotify. I don't know how Spotify works, but it's on there. I actually, were, I've seen Spotify. I was out gift card shopping there the other day, and I seen it at the Shoppers Drug Mart. You can get a gift card for Spotify. Neat. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Huh. And when I first started Rusted Robot, I put it on TuneIn and Stitcher and all those things. Mm -hmm. And then I was, uh, I just got an Amazon Alexa and set that up, and you can listen to podcasts on it. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to listen to the latest episode of Soul Forge Podcast to see how it sounded. Right. And it wasn't on TuneIn. So I'm like, what? So I went to the TuneIn website, and I'm looking, and it wasn't on there. So in the oh, last week, it's been uploaded. Alexa's okay. still not finding it yet, but mm. it's it's there. I guess it takes a while to... Okay. So Alexa only lose, uses TuneIn? I think so. Hmm. Mm hmm I don't know. It's all high-tech gadgets I'm Yeah, I don't know. I'm just learning. I'm learning. But uh, Google Home and Alexa and all that. New. That's right. He's uh, shaking his head. He's not fond of it, apparently. A, a nightmare comes out of my head thinking back to the movie of Terminator. Uh, <laughs> right. The computers will take over. They will. They will. Mm -hmm. Or uh, back into your favorite, one of your favorite movies. Yeah. Robocop. Mm -hmm. You got it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. And on episode 69, you and I sat down with Karen. 69. Uh, and Karen had already made her debut on the Confidence Unmasked episode. Yep. She should be here right now for this, but she's at work. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we talked about sex in elevators and a tour of uh, different places to do it. Fire escapes? Yeah. And, I haven't got there yet. And the only reason we talked about sex on that episode was because it was episode 69. And you just kind of had to. And kind of had to. It was a fun to. episode. It was a fun episode. Yeah. yeah. There was no real rhyme or reason to it. it I'm, was still, just... I'm still geologically pr uh, plotting the, 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 the <laughs> elevator path nice. that you're going to take. That's, that's pretty funny. You should see my globe at home. It's got all these little dots. Nice. I believe you. I'm Good. kidding. That's good, though. Uh, episode 72 was Tracy's story. Yeah. You talked a bit about uh, your experiences over the last little bit and through yeah. your lifestyle and your mm. life and all that Some good stuff. Some difficulties and stuff, yeah. Yeah. I was uh, glad to share in hopes to help others. And I think you did. I hope so. And you're still here and everything's great. So. Oh, just great. Peachy, right? Dandy. 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 Peachy. Peachy. Wonderful. Everything. Fantastic. Chip chip <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then uh, recorded a couple more episodes, mm -hmm. and uh, episode 75 came along. <gasps> what did we talk about? It was me what and you and about? Mel, and uh, we just talked about, I don't even remember. Random there was, there, shit. There was a lot of swearing. <laughs> I had to put an E on that episode because uh, you girls were out of control. Sorry. Yeah. So. I enjoyed it. That is how I talk, though. But there had to be something big for episode 75. So the swearing was it? I guess so. Because I, I didn't. Was that the one I was supposed to make it to, but I had to take off? I think yes. so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You were actually. Here, I was actually here and, and had then to leave. You had to go. That's yeah. right. Pregnant. Yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. And it, I didn't want to make the, the next 25th episode another minimalism thing. <laughs> so like, I could. Super maximizing minimalism. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, mm, no, I don't mm -hmm. think so. I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, and then episode 76 was you preparing for baby. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Which baby is here now? Baby is here. Yeah. So many pounds, seven ounces ever. Eighteen inches long. Eighteen inches long. Born December twentieth. Born December twentieth at eight forty-three a.m. And she's so beautiful. Yes, she is. I saw some pictures. I didn't get to see her, but Jay was showing me pictures just before we started recording. So feel free to come over to my house and meet her. I'll just steal her. You heard it. Here. <laughs> my eye is twitching. You heard it here, fo folks. Baby theft on Soul Forge eighty-one. <laughs> News at a left. Oh, oh boy. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, She's really cute. Well, you know, it would be ironic at this very moment. You know that emergency broadcast system on your phone if an Amber Alert just decided to block through? <laughs> oh, my goodness. At that moment, that I'm would not, be epic. I'm not going to edit that sound in. No? No. no. Don't, don't do so. that, but that would be still kind of epic. Because we're not going to have your baby be stolen. No. No. Because no. that, that, that person would And die. really, I wouldn't steal her for very long. You know what? Come by at about 1 o'clock in the morning. She'll need to be fed. I'll Take her. Gladly. Fantastic. Gladly. I'm going to sleep tonight. I love babies. Don't anyway, we all? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so that was episode 76. You preparing for baby. Yep. Uh -huh. 
And we're going to do a follow-up now that she's here. One of these days, coming up soon. Sure. Once you've had some rest and have some time. Yeah. We'll do yeah, that. Time. Time. Because really, it's only been seven days since she's mm-hmm. been around. Mm-hmm. So let's give it a couple weeks, and then uh, you can talk let's about let, Let's get to the point where she's sleeping her nights. Yeah. That means okay, I'm so my in nights. a year and a half. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of hoping she's like my nine-year-old. After two weeks, she's sleeping her nights. Because I've only got two weeks to make to let, to make this happen. Well, okay, I've only well, got good, a week. Good luck with go that. Here. And uh, listeners, stay tuned for when Jay's on to talk about that. Pay no See attention to the bottle going. of chloroform in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. I'm kidding. Yeah. Well, of course you are. Well, we'll talk about it. Yeah. It'll be great. Uh, and then I recorded a bunch more episodes, and last week was episode 80. Mm-hmm. Karen and I talked about the power of fandom. Mm-hmm. I was told that that's one of the best episodes the full, Soul Forge has put out. Which, interestingly enough, Jay and I haven't listened to. <laughs> nope, but I can't wait. Nor were you on it. No. Either of you. Bummer. Yeah. You never but we'll me. listen, for sure. It was me and Karen. But this was last... You were you recorded that on the Tuesday? Uh, maybe. I or, did you, or is it like tonight? We're actually recording the night. No, it was recorded before, before but... I okay. I don't remember exactly when. That was too soon then. Yeah. 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 But uh, you and uh, you and Karen are the main three semi-regular co-hosts. But I mm-hmm. think you two especially, mostly. Yay. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Raise the roof. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, because we're inclusive here, and now we're recording episode eighty-one as we speak. And uh, so that was significant episodes from the last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we talked about Wit, which was uh, one of the main things we wanted to talk about. Updates yep. on him. We have Jay's baby. Yep. yep. That's big. Yeah. We had your story, which was big. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had weed legalization. Weed yes. legalization. October 17th right. of this year. Yeah. In Canada. That's cool. Big thing. Yep. And the unemployment rate has risen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Sean. Yeah. Why don't you tell the listeners what kind of year you've had? Oh, well, I've had How a How very... was your 2018? Uh, much like everybody else, 20, 2018 was a pretty messed up year, mm-hmm. according to numerology, which I read a half, well, okay, I half read an article, <laughs> because all those numbers, 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 8 add up to 11. Right. That's a bad number in numerology. Okay. But the article was too woo-woo, so I didn't finish it. Okay. But. The basic gist was that 2018 sucked. For everybody. Okay. Yep. Yeah, for the most part. But hmm. 2019 is supposed to be better, so the turn yeah. is happening slowly. Yeah. So everything's good. But uh, what happened with me this year? Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Um, Where shall we start? <laughs> well, How about the beginning? Oh, that's a good place. Yeah. That's usually where stories start. I was uh, suggesting at the backside, but, you know, that's just me. Well, at, at, the, <laughs> end, at the end of uh, 2017, I had moved in with Cheryl. And, oh, yes. And um, put up my house for sale because I thought everything was going to be wonderful and hunky-dory. And uh, as most of my decisions are always wrong, this one was too. <laughs> um, but the house sold in February of this year. Mm-hmm. Things were good, but then, she, of course, she had lost her dad and I lost my uncles. And you know how when that happens, communication breaks down and just mm-hmm. things weren't... into a landslide. Yeah, things weren't good. So we, uh, yeah, I don't know. It just... You eventually that, parted ways. We parted ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, September, I got this house here where I am now. Yep. Yep. And uh, so her and I split up, and uh, I've been working on this place. Okay. Yeah. What happened uh, more recently about, you mentioned earlier, an international flight situation? Oh, oh yes. Right. You and flights don't get along. Yes. Yes. Well, um, you had told me mm-hmm. back in, I guess, early... Sometime in November, yep. I was I was down in the dumps just trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life. And you said, mm-hmm. you know what, you should travel. You always talk about going on a trip and you never do, so you should do it. I'm like, you know what, I have the week of December 15th or 9th off. I should do that. Mm-hmm. So I asked a bunch of people and nobody could go. And they didn't have passports or whatever. But then I asked Melissa from episode 75 right. if she would like to go yeah. and she could have the time off. And uh, so we were going to go. Yay. So we had her staff party on December 8th mm-hmm. and uh, on the 9th, Sunday, we were up at three in the morning to go. And I remember that day. Yeah, you drove us to the airport. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, uh, so then what happened was we got on the airplane. Which yeah. was great. Okay, all, good. All the luggage was loaded. Oh, excited yep. to get going. Yeah, we're sitting there and 
like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to Cuba today. It's going to be awesome. I've never been anywhere international. It's going to be awesome. By the end of the day, you'll be drinking beer or and some the, sort of alcoholic beverage on a beach. Yeah, all inclusive trip, all I can eat. It's going to be great. Then they couldn't close the cargo plane door. Well, that's kind of important. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the pilot tried. The workers tried. They shipped us off the plane to wait in the waiting room. They called the mechanics over. They couldn't fix it. So instead of delaying the flight or getting us to Toronto for the connecting flight some other way, they just canceled the whole thing. Nice. And the soonest we could get to Cuba would be Thursday, four days later. And this was on a Sunday. This was on a Sunday. Wow. Yeah, this is like seven or eight, nine in the morning now. I don't even know what time it was. Uh, but they said, hmm. uh, call Air Canada Vacations and uh, see what they can do for you. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, so we called Air Canada Vacations, and uh, the lady on the phone booked us to Cozumel. So we were supposed okay. to head to Toronto from here, right. here in Timmins, that yep. night, and the Monday we'd be in Cozumel and come back the next Monday. Okay, that's so, not so bad. Sounds great. Yeah. So peter around all day, putter around all day, and mm-hmm. do whatever, uh, get to the airport, and the lady behind the counter says, um, so they booked you on a flight. That's uh-huh. the good news. The bad news is they didn't issue the tickets. The other bad news is the call center's closed, so we still can't issue tickets. So I didn't get to go. I got two trips canceled in one day. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very disappointing. Yeah. That is why whenever I have to go long distance, I do not fly. There you or go. Or just don't go with Sean. <laughs> oh no, we, 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 we've already discussed this. The next trip out, I'm going with him. Oh. Because then that way, at least that way, if his plane, if his flight gets canceled, I'm a truck driver. I'll just drive. You're going to drive to Cuba? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Uh... But I think my next trip international mm-hmm. might be to England. Jolly old England. Jolly old England. Because I need to see Daniel Peter Hitch. Yep. I need to see Big Paul ben. Wright. Yeah. I need to see James from London. James from London. These are all podcast buddies. Do they all live in London? No. They're throughout. I I don't know where Dan lives. Mm -hmm. Uh, Paul lives just outside of Liverpool. And James on his podcast says, Hi, I'm Mm -hmm. James from London. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming he's right in London or around there somewhere. Yeah. Likely. Yeah. 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 Cool. Big Ben. And the sights and And the countryside and maybe Stonehenge and... I don't know. I just want to go see some parts of the world. Yeah. Because I'm old. That'd be a cool trip. Well, I'll tell you what. I will go with you on that one. Sounds good. I will. uh, I'm down for that. Because I turned 42 this year. You did. And 42, according to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, is the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Mm -hmm. Which you hear at the intro of the podcast, which is what the podcast is about. That's why any topic goes. Right. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So... But you haven't really I, found that yet? No. no. I, I don't know if it happens at the end of the year. <laughs> I, I thought I would get all the knowledge that I needed downloaded at the beginning, like on my birthday. Right. But that didn't, didn't, that didn't happen. Although I did sign the papers for my house on my birthday. That's true. So there was that. That's true. Yeah. That was exciting. That was exciting. You're still downloading it, though. What? It's still downloading? Oh, it's still downloading. It's right. just not complete yet. It's so. like internet from the 90s. It took forever. To <laughs> the dial-up to died a couple of years yeah. ago. Yes. It's still downloading. Yeah. Yes, that's what it is. Yeah. And you it turned 40 be. this year. I did, yeah. That, that's a big milestone. Yeah. Yes. I'm old. Right? Welcome mm-hmm. to the club. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. I had a party. Mm-hmm. Uh, superhero-themed party. Yeah. Superhero! I was one woman. <laughs> I wasn't there, was I? No. Why was I not there? How did you not I make it to a superhero themed come. birthday party? Really? Really. Why wouldn't I have come? When was your birthday? February. Oh, okay. Hmm. Right. Okay. That's when my house was selling and things must have been busy at that point. I think. Because so. I can't imagine I would miss your birthday for any significant reason. Mm-hmm. You just said sense. February and the house was selling. I know why. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a different podcast maybe one day. I don't know. Maybe. One perhaps, day. Perhaps. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen, right? Yeah. We don't know. But, yeah. So lots of things yeah. happened in 2018. Mm-hmm. We can only hope that 2019 is going to be so much better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will think be. so. For sure. I'm it, convinced. 100% you, will be. You had some good news. You took a screenshot. Oh, yes. So give me a second to pull it up here because... Because we were going to talk about significant events from the last year. Okay. But it's a lot of uh, political stuff that we don't yeah, care about, which doesn't really all that Donald Trump and Justin Trudeau and all that all kind that of boring garbage. Yeah. yeah. So it just happened that I, I was scrolling through Facebook and came upon this. It says, you want some good news from 2018? I bet you do. Book sales are up this year over last year. Sales of physical books have grown every year since 2013. 
Indie bookstores have increased by 35% in the past decade. Reading isn't dying, it's thriving. Happy New Year. See, that's great news. Mm-hmm. And in fact, I think so too. I ordered three books uh, on Amazon yesterday. And I bought two books at the bookstore today. See? So, yeah, people are great. reading. I've got a whole pile of books I haven't read. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Even though we just bought new ones. I, but I read them. In fact, I am reading a book right now mm-hmm. called The Ethical Slut. But it's on a Kobo Ooh. reader that I borrowed. Okay. I don't like non-physical media. Uh-huh. But that's the only way I had it. And it's all about yeah. uh, polyamory and loving more than one person. Ooh. So I'm only about 15% away into mm-hmm. the book. Do you like it so far? I like it so far. It's expanding it my cool. mind. And once I know more about it, that's going to be a Soul Forge episode. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, very cool. Is there anything else we should uh, talk about for a year in review? I don't think so. Can no. Think anything, Jay? No. That's pretty much it, Well, though. I'm just really glad that you've given me the opportunity to come on this podcast uh, regularly. I'm glad that you were here. Thanks. It's appreciated. And Thanks. you too, Mr. Ditto. Yeah. Yes. I love doing it. Good. I miss it. Well, I also miss my sleep, but that's a whole yeah. other topic. <laughs> the Soul Forge is an inclusive area. Huh. And any topic goes. Including diaper changing. Oh, Lord. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. I could make three episodes on that one. <laughs> I don't think we will. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't suggest it. No, no. I could make a video about it, too. We can put it on YouTube. Okay, sounds good. And remember, listeners, pause the recording, go to YouTube right now, look up Sean Vanderloo, right. subscribe to my YouTube channel, because once I have 100 mm-hmm. listeners, I can name it something other than my name. Yay! So, and that would be nice. And how many do you have now? 26. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. All right. So not a lot. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, subscribe on iTunes mm-hmm. and Stitcher yep. and tune in and uh-huh. Spotify. And share. Share the share, links. Share, share, share. the page share on Facebook. Share the beep out of it. Yeah. Share the links. I love share. the fact that you just beeped yourself out. That share awesome. everything. <laughs> because I know if I don't, Sean's going to get upset with me. I would never get upset with you, Tracy. <laughs> but I'm glad you beeped yourself. And remember, sharing is caring. So share the links. Tell yes. your friends about the podcast. Tell your family about the podcast. Yes. Download it twice. Listen to it again. <gasps> Do it. Yeah. Oh, I'm That's so right. Listen to it in reverse order. It's awesome. <laughs> That's right. And I uh, hope you all have a great New Year's Day yes. party. New Year's Eve party, whatever you're partying, have a great party. Happy New Year. That's right. And this has been the 2018 Year in Review podcast about Mm -hmm. all our yesterdays. And on that note, I'll leave you with a fun and remember, which Mm -hmm. is, yesterday is heavy. Put it down. This has been another episode of the Soul Forge podcast. Find us on Twitter at Soul Forge Pod or email the show via soulforgepodcast at gmail.com. Soul Forge is a production of Sean Vanderloo and Friends. You can find Sean on Twitter and Instagram at Darth Baderloo. Remember to visit soulforgepodcast.com for all of our social media links and share the show with everyone you know. Thanks for stopping by the Forge. We'll keep the fires lit until your next visit. Greetings, Starfighters. It's Sean from the Rusted Robot Podcast. Join me and the Rusty crew as we break down the latest geeky movie trailers, talk about TV, comics, toys, games, casting news, and all things nerdy. Find us on all your favorite podcast apps, the ESO Network, and at therustedrobot.podbean.com. The Rusted Robot Podcast, your source for geek since 2014. The Rusted Robot Podcast. Think about it. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network. Be part of the crew and help support our shows by donating to our ESO Patreon or by shopping through Amazon.com or the Tee Public Store which can all be found at www.esonetwork.com. The ESO Network, your station for all things geek.